Hey, welcome back to All About Comics. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be uh, showing some more books today. Got some recent Kickstarters came back in. Uh, hopefully there'll be a few more start rolling in here soon. A um, couple ended this week. So I was going to kind of share some of that information with y'all as well. But uh, I didn't do an end of April haul, so I was kind of bummed that I didn't get around to that. But as life often does, it gets to be interesting sometimes. So with that being said, we'll just do a May haul. Um, regardless if it came from April or May, we'll just do it all together. And uh, we'll just show some books and talk a little bit about Kickstarter. So I'm going to start right off the bat, right off the jump with this awesome book. So if you guys have seen, I'm sure it's circulating. It was on the top 10 list of uh, the CBSI or House of Stein or whoever the heck it's under. Number one book last week. This is the Adam Hughes Kickstarter exclusive Rocketeer from the Dave Stevens um, Planes, Dames, and Rockets uh, Blu-ray uh, documentary. Um, obviously, I backed it. Um, don't even own a Blu-ray player, it turns out. So, is what it is. But, uh, anyway, it's a cool book, nonetheless. It's not my favorite Adam Hughes cover, but, you know, rare, collectible looks is what it is. Um, and then, this morning, the Kickstarter for Gaslighters number 6 ended. But yesterday, perfect timing, right on right on cue. We got the uh, Gaslighters number five Kickstarter. Um, this is the Hyde Chang variant, and um, he's some unique, unique stuff there. I don't know if you can see, but I thought there was something weird on her butt, and it's just like water droplets, like uh, rain or sweat. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I did see some other people post their books, and uh, it all has water drops on her butt. So it is what it is. Apparently, she's in a sweaty predicament. But he puts a lot of detail into his art. Just a lot of really weird details sometimes. Uh, but anyways, pretty cool cover. But the cut that was my, uh, I think that was my free cover, maybe. If not, it was this one. But regardless, this is the cover I went for. And I bet you can guess why. This is a Puppeteer Lee. Uh, is that correct? Yes. Puppeteer Lee, uh, is the only comic I have with uh, that person's artwork, and I really dig it. Obviously, the Babe with the Blade kind of thing, you know, I can't not support that. So, um, yeah, really cool. Uh, it's almost uh, like a canvas. Like, if you, I can't really, but it does have like canvas type lines. Um, really cool, actually. Uh, very unique. Uh, as opposed to, I mean, it may be digital art. I'm not really sure, but it kind of looks like a painting. So that's pretty cool. Again, that was Gaslighters number five. Um, yeah, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool Kickstarter. Uh, number six ended this morning, and it did. I was going to pull this up. Uh, 723 backers for $39,328. Um, so congratulations to John and his team. And, uh, you know, I really would like to see that Kickstarter get bigger. Like he deserves as much effort that he puts into the, the free stuff and the, the quality of artists that he gets. He deserves definitely some more love from the comic book community. So hopefully the next one, which will be launching, I can't remember if it's Bad Wolf 3 or... Uh, one of his new titles or what it is but look forward to that oh nine tails is the one i'm looking forward to the most <laughs> oh my gosh excuse me yeah he has a series a new series starting called nine tails coffee time all right the next book is not a kickstarter but it is a beautiful sozomica cami this was her first exclusive to her website. Um, it's limited to like 400 or 500. I can't remember. But regardless, it's a freaking beautiful book. Like if you're a Street Fighter fan and you don't have this in your collection, good luck. They're pretty expensive now. So, yeah. Cool book. Cool cover. Um, 
and I love her art. You know, she, she really does have a unique style about her. So, yeah, there you go. All right. Speaking of unique styles and uh, rare books, this is a Power Hour number two preview edition by Shikari of Peach from the Mario series, you know. Peaches, 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 peaches. Um, yeah, I mean, there was obviously the adult versions, which is a little too far for me. This might be a little too far for me, just as, like, a kid playing Mario. Peach was never a sex symbol for me, so. Regardless, rare, collectible, hot artist. All right. So, if you guys follow on Instagram, you probably see these books from time to time. Um, you won't be seeing this book very often, I can assure you that, as there is only 10 of these printed. This is from Mad Love Comics and Art. Um, this is a uh, Sabine Wren cover, the hollow foil. Uh, only, 10, only 10 of these were printed, and this is number 8. So, very cool. I love the, uh, the the artist is uh, Japes Archer. So you can check. I don't know if that individual's on Instagram or not. I couldn't find any kind of handle on there. But anyways, I love the hollow foil and shiny. I wish there was something going on in the background, you know. But it's pretty minimal, but still beautiful. And Sabine Wren is such a cool character. So you know, it's sad that we're getting more cool covers from all these uh, cosplay. Uh, covers than we are from the actual mainstream uh, publishers. Okay. This is not a mainstream publisher. This is one that took me a while to hunt down. I'm really disappointed. That I'm hoping that my friend Pope Grammy can give me a nice press for the back cover. Um, but anyways, this is from Samurai of Oz, I believe. This is the Knight... This is the Warrior of the North or something to that effect. Uh, that was weird. Uh, this is another BTG cover. I'm a huge BTG fan. Um, really cool digital art. Um, Babe of the Blade, of course, because it's the uh, Samurai of Oz story. Uh, but regardless... Um, this is just a really, really good cover. Lots of detail. Lots of swords. Lots of... I mean, if this warrior chick was coming at you in the middle of the night wearing white, almost ghost-like, yeah, I'd be dead. All right, so the next few books are actually from my friend Tony. He sent me a random box of goodies. I uh, wasn't expecting anything. But I uh, showed this one on Instagram for sure. This is Disputed Territory. This is the Carla Cohen cover of uh, Alyssa Milano with a rifle, looks like. Just kidding. But it does look like Alyssa Milano. I mean, that's my childhood. But anyways, I love the Western stuff. You know, I can't, can't deny that. And this is a really hard-to-find book. Um, Tony had told me about it. I had no idea he was going to be sending it to me, but he had told me about it. Um really really cool um, he left me a note on this one which you guys have seen these before because I showed them off recently in a different haul video but you got psycho number one and number two so uh, I think these are cool books uh, I love the psycho one of my favorite horror movies um, never got into the TV series but you know Bates Hotel or whatever it was maybe I should watch it I don't know but I don't know. I think it's really cool. I really appreciate the kindness. Um, it seems like uh, every other week he's sending me something. Now these, I remember when he got them, but I was really shocked that he sent them to me. And that is uh, some covers by Sam Payne, the artist Sam Payne. Um, this is Josie and the Pussycats. Um, pretty cool rock and roll cover. Um, it's actually signed at the bottom by Sam Payne. Um, Almost sounds like champagne. And then uh, Betty and Veronica. I like this one a lot. It's a swim to swimsuit cover-ish. 
or half of them cheating water guns and uh, Sam's obviously got a little bit of that cartoon type um, art style, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then the last book that he had sent me was uh, The Disputed Territory. Um, I'm not sure if this is issue one. And I'm not even sure who the artist is, but I dig the anime looking style or manga style of the, uh, the lady there, the saloon gal. But really cool cover. Um, Again, I might have to start a Western collection if this keeps going. So, um, not that I need any more side projects, but, you know, maybe. And then we got, this is the, was it the, uh, the corner, the comic corner, uh, exclusive of, um, World Tree number one. Uh, this one's uh, numbered, uh. This one's numbered out of 300, or limited to 300. It comes with a certificate. This is number 164. Um, this is the uh, Lip Wee cover. I uh, really like this one the best of all the exclusives I saw. Um, Lip Wee does some really cool stuff. Lip Wee, Lip Wee. How do you say it? But another, I think he's from the Philippines. But anyways, dig this cover a lot. Um, you got... Yeah, some dismembered body parts. You got a knife, which constitutes the blade. You got some side boob going on there. Uh, just overall, it's a really cool book. And the last book I got this week or this month or whenever it was. I don't know. I just really like this. It was a free comic book day book. Not from the recent one, but I bought this from a guy on eBay. And it was a couple bucks, but I didn't care. Is this a really cool Star Wars High Republic? I don't know the character. I don't know anything about it, but it has that anime style to it, which obviously I'm drawn to. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking thing. There we go. But anyways, it's got the dual blade action. I'm not sure if this is any significance as far as um, character-wise. You know, I know Star Wars is hot right now. Everyone's talking about it. <coughs> But anyways, cool cover nonetheless. Um, just something cheap to add to the Babes of the Blade collection and Star Wars and all that stuff. So, yeah. But um, just a short video. I will be doing another Kickstarter video soon. Um, I found a new project that I'm fond of that I want to share. So hopefully you guys can come along with that journey with me as well. And... Um, yeah, if any of you guys are just curious, I'm going to throw it out there. If any of you guys are into playing TCG games, hit me up on Instagram. I have some questions about uh, Flesh and Blood that I would like to know. So if any of you guys play Flesh and Blood, well, let me know. But um, anyways, until next video, I uh, say I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, be sure and check out some of the Kickstarter campaigns. I uh, will put some oh also i want to mention sorry um uh, if you guys are interested in the kickstarters that have ended such as you know gaslighters 5 gaslighters 6 now um oftentimes you can buy some of the books on his website so i will try and put the website in the description below so you guys can uh maybe grab them because most of them are very limited covers so you might be interested to to go grab a couple uh, for your own collections but uh all right, well, thank you guys, and until uh, next time, you guys keep on collecting, and take care. Bye-bye.